Clint David Kahn here with another question bank question in topic 8.1. We're looking at uh, power plants and Sankey diagrams. We have a, a Sankey diagram for a fossil fueled power station, and there are three branches to the diagram. So the total energy is being split into energies one, two, and three. We want to know which of the following best identifies the thermal energy removed by water and the useful energy output of the station. Um, Okay, so in Sankey diagrams, we can expect that the line going straight through represents the energy that we want to get out. Uh, so this is going to be our useful energy. Um, so that means that our answers are going to be either A or, B or C, not, uh, not B or D. As for the energy removed by water, um, what we're talking about here is the energy that we need to take out of the system in order to make our pressure differential. Remember that we're heating water by burning fossil fuels so that we can make steam and create pressure to push through a turbine and spin the turbine. But in order to push through the turbine, we need high pressure in front and low pressure behind. So once the steam goes through the turbine, we want to condense it back into water. We want to cool it down. So we want to remove that energy we use water to do it and send that energy into the cooling tower uh, and into the atmosphere. Uh, and we talked about how that winds up being an enormous amount of the energy, at least 50%. Uh, so it has to be two, is that energy lost by, uh, by that water, that cooling water. Uh, so the answer then would be A. Uh, the other reason that I think that the useful energy output would be one and not three, now that we've eliminated two, is that three is just awfully small. Three is about 10% maybe, and if we were getting 10% from our power plants, that would just be criminal. Um, so thankfully, <laughs> it's not that bad. Uh, although one looks like it's about 30%, which isn't great either.